I think we're getting somewhere. Monster will explain. You guys are good at covering your tracks. You've been hitting the corpse for years, but they've never been able to follow you home. I guess they were too distracted fighting each other to bother. Or maybe you were considered a useful pawn. Enemy of my enemy and all that. What we do, we do well. Well, he must have finally done something to get their undivided attention. They were able to pinpoint your HQ by linking their surveillance nets. That's unprecedented. Not for the usual bullshit political reasons, but because of the sheer computational power required. They must have an ungodly powerful network hidden out there somewhere. One that could host incognita. Right. If you put your AI on that network, it would have an incredible degree of access. Enough to wipe their security records and put Invisible back underground. <laughs> More like enough to force them underground. And who knows what else? As I said, it would be incredible. But that's jumping ahead. We have to find it first. They're still looking for you, but they're not hiding the fact anymore. Each time you do an infiltration, the global secnet lights up like a Christmas tree. Do that enough times, and we should be able to cross-reference the traffic and find the location of the root node. And then we can strike back. Well then, it's time for us to poke the bear. All right. So where are we going? Oh, so actually what we're supposed to do is just keep doing this. All right, fine. Well, let's go to the vault. This is a corporate treasure house. It should be stuffed with credits and valuable artifacts that would do far more good in our coffers. The best stuff will need a blank key card, though, so temper your expectations if you don't bring one. All right, so this is going to be a little bit harder. That should be fine. Ah, uh, let's see. Art objects. Worth money. That's good. That's good as far as I'm concerned. And chat. Uh, chat has uh, democratically chosen... To uh, kidnap uh, that if we kidnap a guard and we actually succeed at kidnapping one, we are going to put a potato in his butt. I don't really agree with this method, but you know what? Democracy is democracy. You can't you can't argue with the proletariat. Let's start by hacking. Note to self: put some points into hacking. Hack us up a camera. Does not do nearly as much as I'd like it to. All right, fine. Open me up some doors. Hey, we've already found the exit. Well, that's convenient. Makes my life a hell of a lot easier. So now, let's peek. Ambush. Warning. Okay. In retrospect, hey, what was that? He's confused. No, I don't want to ambush. Oh no, knock him out. There we go. Perfect. Hey, Matt, how's it going? All right, so he's being pinned. Let's steal his valuables. He does not have a uh, security chip. Note to self, put some points into strength for carrying stuff around, though. So I think at this point, getting a little bit tired about the limited inventory space here. Okay, he's still got two AP left. So let's keep opening doors. So I can find something useful. Hey, that's a nanofabricator. Too bad I am cripplingly poor. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, I'm, I'm really di disappointed that this game doesn't let you hack for a blueprint. Like, you'd think a blueprint would actually be one of the easier things to get along the way here. So let's just move here. What do we get? So that's that's no-go zone. That's okay. Don't care about no-go zones. So what do we got in here? Well, hackable stuff, and I got plenty of power. What's the database do? Uh, a little bit late for finding that one out. All right, seeing as you're here... Let's actually have him go back this direction. So the camera's out, because I want her to go up here. Looks like we got some ha hackable things that I can take care of as we go along the way here. Like this camera. And this console, which I apparently cannot hack right now. Okay, fine. Well, we're out of AP. That doesn't concern me too much. So let's see. Uh... multiple doors. You know what? Let's go here. Oh, man. that That's good. Let's hack all of these things. Hack all of the stuff. Server terminal. I should probably read what some of these things do, but it doesn't really bother me that much, and she's out of AP. Yeah, that's fine. Now, let's see. Where are these doors? Where am I even going in all of this? Okay. Okay. 
We've just got this empty room. All right. Completely meaningless being here. I'm probably going to want to go back and knock out that guard for the time being. I wonder what would happen if you actually moved them to a different room. Like if you could almost consign them to bed. That'd be an interesting situation to be in. Oh. Uh... Actually, ambush. Can I ambush him diagonally? I have no idea. Let's see what happens, because I've never been been in this situation before. Oh, shoot. That's not what I meant to do. Okay, so we've, we've already checked out all of these things. Let's get us a door open. Looks like there's nothing here either. Alright. I can work, work with nothing. Speak around the corner. Looks like also still nothing. Damons. Daemons are defensive AI programs that protect mainframe devices. They will trigger when you hack a device. Be careful. Daemons have different effects, but all of them will hurt. So Rubik's. Raises firewalls. Let's hack the corporate safe first. And then go after Rubik's. Okay. That's no big deal. And she's out of AP. He's out of AP. This guy's going to wake up. That's his one turn. Okay, so apparently you cannot ha knock a dude out diagonally. This guy is dumb, but it works out great for us. Okay. So while we're here... Oh, those safes, those safes, are, safes are on the other side of a wall. Multiple walls, even. And I need a security card for this. It's going to be costly power-wise. That said... Oh, raises firewalls. That's what Warning. that means. International cannot move there. Well, that's why. Now International can move here. Let's cross our fingers that we're not going to run into issues here. There's, yeah, going for that Daemon. Should have done that last. He captured. Was that... Oh... Okay, we're running out of power pretty fast here. But that's okay. Because we keep finding nice little terminals. But yeah, next time I, le I leave the AIs down. Hmm. Hidden Damon. That's... That's difficult. <laughs> in before. This is revealed not to be Wanderbot. But an elaborate voiceover. That would be impressive. If I would be I would be down for that if I could manage it. Okay, first and foremost, let's seal this guy's valuables. We get cred chip and a security card. Both of which we are kinda happy about. Let's get us some saves. This place has some pretty high security. Oh, but that worked out great for us. Okay. Let's end turn. So unfortunately we've got a hidden daemon, and that could screw us a bit. Oh, let's just keep opening corporate saves. Okay. So what we're going to do, let's observe his motions. Stationary. Damn it. Oh, not so bad. Actually, we've opened up almost all of the safes. There's another one. So what I'm going to do is loop her around. This, ah, it's super inefficient, but whatever. I'm hoping that there's nothing up here. Probably is. Thought so. Let's get behind this. Okay, so he's gonna come. He's gonna come to inspect. Investigating. Guess it was nothing. What? Knock him out. There are a lot of people to knock out here. This is concerning. That said, except for this guy here, we don't have too much to worry about. So let's get this safe. Open it up. And then pin this guy again. Can I move him anywhere? Nope, can't move him anywhere. Okay, so I'll just knock him out the next time around. Because I cannot open that door. Okay, now you still have some AP. Let's uh, take a look at this room. You need to hack that to release the secondary locks. Okay, so we get Paradox. So let's first hack the vault terminal. Then let's hack 
the da this daemon program. Three power drained by daemon. Oh, that sucks a bit. Because that just put daemons on everything. Well, let's just wait until the next turn. This is this is comparatively rough. Okay, so let's close incognita. There's nothing he can do about this situation. There's nothing he can do about this situation either. You knock him out. Okay, and I don't know if the other guy's woken up yet. Doesn't look like he has. Well, let's just wait. He's got plenty of AP. You know what? I'm gonna have them uh, switch positions here, actually. Cause he can go oh, shoot in two turns. I'm a little bit concerned about that guard. Okay. Cause we might as well have her focus on. Okay, so he's awake and he's alerted. He uh, he can't do anything for the time being. So let's keep running there. Close this door for a second. I don't know what that guy's up to, but I'm I've got a camera on him, so if and when he moves, we know we know what we can do. Okay. And let's trade actually. Because he needs the security card and she doesn't. Okay, end turn. Glad I remembered that. I was like, I'm trying to think of things to do. Okay. So there are more cameras. Oh, and they're all expensive to use. Let's hack them all. Not enough power. Yep, still not enough power. Okay. So you get over here. Should have just enough. Let's unlock the door. Open it up. Does not surprise the dude. Well, I'm gonna ready an ambush just in case. And she should be able to get through here. Let's move through. I do not know where that guard is. He has since effectively vacated the pre premises, which concerns me just a little bit. Let's keep closing doors. Okay. Oh, perfect. And we can stop by the, uh, the fabricator next. He still has two AP. Okay, end turn. Next time, leave a lot of the daemon hacking for later, because I can wait on that one. Oh, this guy isn't even ready. This guy didn't even notice me. Oh, no. I don't want to ambush him. There we go. So let's open up the safe. Ooh, that's money. Steal from this guy. Cred ship and another pass card. Don't care about that. Steal from more saves. As long as, as, long as it doesn't have anything... Uh, as, as long as it doesn't actually have any items in it. Okay, never, Oh, she, she still has AP. Okay. Open up this nanofabricator. What can we get? Cloaking Rig 2, Buster Chip, or Hollow Circuit? Ooh. It's not that good, though, unfortunately. Now, here's a question Can you get multiple neural disruptors? I feel like it's science time coming on. Ooh, yeah. So she, she can actually knock multiple people out. So let's open up this door. Looks like we're good. Okay, so the, the guard is somewhere. Time to use the modded cloaking rig. Charge device. Okay. So unfortunately that daemon made everything harder. It's probably only going to get harder once we get up to power level 3. Which is unfortunate. Okay, so people are starting to wake up. That shouldn't be a problem. At least we get a little bit of power here, but unfortunately getting through Paradox... Eh, you know what, getting through Paradox isn't going to screw me too much. For three turns. Crap. Okay, that puts us in a bit of an awkward position. Alright, let's, let's get out of this. Decker, you get up here. We got shit to do. Who was that? Oh. 
Cloaking time. Probably shouldn't have done that, but still. What was that? All right, so her clo cloaking rig is already off. That's uh, oh, I see. You can cycle between them. Oh no, I don't want to ambush. I want to knock him out. There we go. Okay. Let's steal from him. Have I not stolen from this guy? Oh, I must not have previously. Okay. So unfortunately, I can't help hack the vault terminal yet. I just am not going to have enough power, and we're currently blocked from hacking. He's got two turns on that. So this guy's going to... Oh, fuck. Stop there! Stop there! Well, this is an interesting pickle. We don't leave agents in the field, operator. Get them back on their feet or drag them to the exit. Let's rewind. Oh, perfect. That guy's gonna investigate. I'm gonna open this up, but that's not gonna help me. Let's hack the camera first. At least that camera. Okay, that makes my life a little bit easier. Hack Paradox. Alright, now we're locked out, but that's fine. Okay. So she needs to go knock this dude out. Yeah, if only Decker was a Shadow Run Decker. I agree. Right, so we get some more cred chips. You. I'm gonna have some trouble here. Now that guy's currently distracted, but I should be fine. He's alerted, but he's not he's not going anywhere productive. Let's close this door. Go into this room. If I could just leave him there. And just keep closing doors behind me. It might actually work. Okay. Working on that. Incognita has several turns to lock down. Hopefully we get more power while she's locked down, though. Otherwise, this is only going to get slower. Okay, good. We're still getting power, though. Close the door on him. Now, things to worry about. Pretty much this guy. I'm just gonna wait with the ambush. Can't hack for a couple more, one more turn. That's fine. Unfortunately, I think everything's gonna. Oh, perfect. Yes. Okay, that worked absolutely perfectly. Okay. Finally, hack the vault terminal. Next turn. Apparently. That's oh, okay. We've got everybody important pinned. Okay. Incognita, help that. Uh oh, new threat detected. Enforcer. You've got the goods. Now don't dally. They are sending someone to investigate the security breach. What the fuck? Oh shit. Okay. I'll start opening up these deposit boxes. I think we're gonna need Decker on this one. Now, I want to say, enforcers are non-stunnable. Okay, this just got really hard. Especially because I do not have, I do not have AP or power for most of this. I don't know what happens when we hit security level four. Well, this is part of learning. Really, if I hadn't hacked that one daemon, we'd be okay. Not open this vault access card. Shit, we need the we need the enforcer for this one. Okay, let's wait with the ambush and let's just save our power. This should work. Okay, toggle generator. 
Here it is closing on this location. That's fine. I'm going to just move him here. Okay, hopefully the double ambush will make it. Come on, dude. Guard down. There he is. Doesn't do me much good. I don't have guns. Okay. We got power now. Secure case. We might as well hack this one down. I still don't don't have enough power. You coming, dude? Okay. One more guard patrol. Oh, that's fine. Here's the question. Watched by the en enemy. Okay, so we don't want to deal with that. Come on, dude. Okay, fine. Interestingly enough, he's pinning his ally. So I'm gonna have her cloak. Seems like the best way to do this. Pile of corpses! Alright, while we're here, let's re-equip this. Because now we can move here. Okay, so she's already attacked for the turn. But she can attack the next guy. And you... Need to knock this guy back out. Okay. Let's loot some bodies. No, that's drag body. That's not what I want to do. Drop body. KO. Oh, it's because his inventory is full. Well, that's rough. Okay. Um... gonna leave her encumbered. Let's move back on top of this guy. Can I not? Where's the vault key card? Why can I not get? This is concerning. Uh, dicks. How far can you move? Not far enough. I'm gonna ambush that guy. So, can I not get through here? Corporate of Corporate X. Oh, so I can't get through there. Okay. Well, that's rough. Fine. So he's distracted. That's good. How the hell do I deal with this? Hey, investigating. Equip this one. She's still encumbered. We don't have enough. This is a giant area. I think freaking down. mess. Okay. She's got minus one AP. What was that? Well, I'm glad I got that extra stun gun. This is quite possibly the least efficient mission I've ever done. Equip the stun gun. Enemy being pinned. Don't want to deal with that. It's alt. Move here. Shoot. We got another guy that's going to be getting up in like two seconds. Oh, this is such a rough miss mission. 
I did everything wrong. So she she has this okay. So you want to move here? What was that? Knock him out. Okay. And then you want to get down. Where's that door? You want to get down here. Equip this. Ambush. Okay. This is like the messiest thing you could ever do. Let's see. Be funny if it only has limited rewinds. I have limited rewinds. In fact, I have three more. Okay, so now we've got the elite enforcers. Alright, so you want to knock this guy out. Nope, wrong person. Let's equip this. I can't win. Use med gel to get them back on I can't feet. I can't win. I can't I I I I can't win. I'm fucked. I am absolutely fucked. This mission is done. Let's just let him die too. End campaign. That was rough. So what happened there? Uh, because she was currently pinning somebody, she was unable to knock out the guy that she was directly next to. There is no way I would have known known that that was a mechanic, and it kind of pisses me off that that's how that's not it's not fair. Because I can't not pin a dude. Like I, I'm okay. I'm okay with failing a mission because I. I did that horribly. Like, honestly, that was a horribly mismanaged uh, run. And, like, yeah, I, I totally could have done that, like, way more efficiently and stuff. But the fact that I couldn't stun that one guy with my available stun gun... ...is amazingly stupid. I don't know. Whatever. We've also unlocked Shalem, who actually has a gun this time around, and uh, some chick. I don't know what she's good at. Crypto computer. Actually, what's this? Enhanced optics. Okay, that's for sniping. Crypto computer. Unlocks level so level one security doors without a pass card. Ah, that's kind of interesting. Okay, and custom paralyzer. Use on pinned targets. Stuns them for an extra three turns. Ooh, that's really good, actually. Well, that's awesome. Re restart current day. We could also retry level. You know what? I think I'm going to start over completely and do like a whole new run and stuff like that just because I could retry level. Let's retry level. With a new layout too. Oh, perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. He would have stayed pinned if he stuck a potato in his butt. He would have been distracted. Chat, you guys are nasty. Okay. Oh, that was... Comparatively kind of garbage. 
I don't know how to think about it. I honestly don't. But I think for now, I'm done with Invisible Ink. So I'll see you guys in the next episode, where we will actually give this a go uh, properly and not spend all of our time just getting pretty much just royally screwed by daemons. I think that's the biggest problem there, that I just immediately was, like, super hack-happy. And that was bad. Can't hack uh, beat the level if I don't have a vault key. Oh, boy. Well, maybe not then. No, no, I, I totally could. Uh, I just don't get the extra rewards, which is the problem. I don't know. I might just start over. I really don't know. Either way, though, I will see you guys in the next episode of Invisible Incorporated, and as always, thanks for watching.